Hey guys, Eric Steenberg here, ESMMA Fitness. Today, what we're gonna go over is my upcoming predictions for this weekend's fight between Paula Costa and Marvin Vittori. If you're just interested in who I'm taking for the fight, I'm gonna take Marvin Vittori. If that's the only reason you clicked on the video, you can click off now. So, Paula Costa is a six foot, 72 inch reach orthodox middleweight. He's a black belt in Jiu Jitsu. Has a record of 13 and one with 11 knockouts, one submission. Marvin Vittori is a six foot, 74 inch reach middleweight who fights Southpaw. He's a brown belt in Jiu Jitsu with a record of 17 and five with two knockouts and nine submissions. So why am I taking Marvin Vittori over Paula Costa? The main reason is that Paula Costa missed weight or he's going to miss weight at least. He reported that he would not be able to make the 185 pound weight limit this week and was asking to do it at 205. They agreed at 195. That's a big red flag and it makes me question his conditioning and his training for this camp. The other big red flag for me is not having a fight for over a year. Ring rust is a real thing. I wonder if taking that much time off was actually good for him. I think the move would have been for him to get back into a fight in a six month-ish category and try to get a W. I think if you're that far off weight and you haven't fought in that long, I think those two things are gonna affect you heavily. The fact that he has such a bad loss as his last loss is going to weigh on him, especially the way he lost and going into that fight so confident and then clearly getting mentally beat in that fight. Say what you will about Marvin Vittori, but he doesn't seem mentally beat. Even in the fights where he lost to Israel Adesanya, he swears he's won those fights. Now, I totally disagree with him, but it still gives you the mindset that he would fight Israel again today if he could. To me, Costa seems defeated. He doesn't seem like he's interested in having that fight again. He doesn't seem hungry for that fight again. Both these guys like to lead with their rear hand, and I think that Costa does have some advantages in the striking. Costa has good kicks, and if he implements those, that could be a difficult time for Vittori. It could also be used by Vittori to kind of close the gap, to kind of catch a leg, to run him over. Vittori has faced Israel Adesanya twice, and it's gone to a decision two times. He's faced him eight rounds at this point, and while he did take damage, in the second fight, he took very little damage. I don't think Vittori was going out of his way to win, win that fight, but he was also harder to hit. He moved better. He wasn't just getting picked apart super easily, whereas Costa basically just stood in front of of Israel Adesanya and got pieced up. I think the most successful win for Costa is pretty obvious, the win over Yoel Romero, which was a very close fight and could have gone to Yoel. I also think that that was the first sign of Yoel taking a bit of a step back in regards to his abilities. He is in his 40s after all and has had incredibly hard fights with guys like Whitaker. His recent ability to not pass the medical screening for Bellator is worrisome considering that Bellator is not exactly known for doing a whole lot of testing on their fighters at least in comparison to the UFC. So how do I think this fight's gonna go? Early, it becomes a bit of a slugfest with them both swinging. I think Vittori will have better head movement, but leave his body a little open for kicks, but he'll also pressure and close the gap. I think Vittori eventually pushes Costa back. They turn it into a wrestling scenario. Marvin Vittori has a fire hydrant for a head and can take some super hard shots to close the gap if he needs to. I think Vittori does hit relatively hard on his own and he's not scared, he will come forward. The more wrestling that happens, the more it benefits Vittori. I know technically speaking, Paula Costa is a black belt in Jiu Jitsu, but to be fair, I just think Vittori has better overall grappling than him. And Vittori is going to be top position if any takedowns do happen. I see probably it going all five rounds, but with Costa basically getting gassed and Vittori dragging him down again and again, and ending up in top position with some ground to pound, I think the weight cut is gonna be a huge issue for Costa, and I don't see how it's gonna benefit him being that much heavier, to be honest. Vittori's a workhorse and will keep a heavy pace and really push the cardio. What can Costa do to win? Costa needs to kinda of actually move his feet. He does have slightly better footwork, I think, than Vittori does, but I think Vittori has slightly better head movement. I think if Costa circles and actually uses his straight strikes and hard kicks to the body and leg, he could actually win this. If he goes out there with an ego trip and just tries to rip Vittori's face off, I think that's a hard way to go. What does Vittori need to do in order to win? Vittori needs to stay in Costa's face, not back up, and make sure that he keeps the pressure on the whole time. His best attribute will be his gas tank and his ability to push a hard pace. I think his grappling is stronger. He has to make those early rounds grueling and ugly and just turn it into a hard cage wrestling match early and he'll be able to strike with him later. 
Thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you would, share it. That helps me a lot. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to comment below. If you think I'm stupid, comment that too. Comments are always welcome, no matter what they are. And again, guys, I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for watching.